and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to adjust the hotkeys on basically any tool within Blender. So in 2.5, as most of you probably know, we're able to adjust hotkeys uh, for most of the tools through the input section of the user preferences. And by going in here, you can scroll down to you know find any one of the hotkeys, go in here, click edit, and then you can adjust it at will. So for example, we could adjust the loop cut and slide by changing the hotkey here uh, and changing any kind of modifier keys and things like that. But if you want to add a new hotkey, or even if you want to change one, sometimes this is a bit cumbersome to use simply because it's hard to find the correct tool in this list and the search doesn't always work very well. So there's another way that we can do that and that is actually just by right clicking on a tool and adding a shortcut. So for example, I have a basic cube here and one of the common tools that we use is subdivide. So if I wanted to add a hotkey to subdivide, which is normally access either from the toolbar here or by hitting W and subdivide, I can just go ahead and find the tool, right click and then click add shortcut. At this point, I could go ahead and just say maybe Shift W. And now if I hit Shift W, we notice it automatically subdivides my mesh. And if we go back into the user preferences, go into input, the subdivide option is listed under 3D view in mesh. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, currently there's not actually a subdivide entry or by default there's not. But since we right clicked and added that shortcut, down at the bottom, you'll find a new entry for subdivide set to Shift W. And you can see we've also got the options for it here. These options are the same ones that you find down in the operator panel. Uh, if I hit subdivide and ignore these and bring back the operator panel, which is, well, oh, there we go. You can see we've got these options for the number of cuts, the smoothness, fractal, etc. So in the hotkey, after setting it, you can actually change the default behavior. So if I wanted it to always add a smoothness of one, I could do that. And then I can go ahead and hit Shift W and you'll notice it's smoothed my subdivision. So very easy way to go in and add custom hotkeys to tools that maybe don't have them that you're using a lot. And you can even do this on menu entries. So if I hit say maybe Control E for the edge specials menu, and I want maybe mark seam, I could go ahead and right click, add a shortcut for that and use a, a hotkey for the entry rather than having to always hit Control E and edge slide. 